Hey y'all, hey, welcome to my channel, Kelly's Crochet Adventures. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my returning subscribers and welcome, welcome, welcome to my new subscribers. Honey, I'm so glad that you are here today. All right, let's go on and get into it. All right, y'all, listen, I have my go bag. People have been doing their go bag and someone requested that I show you what's in my go bag. So I'm gonna show you what's in my go bag. You ready? Okay, let's go. All right, now I have many, but this is one project bag that I have. This one right here, I'm utilizing this one. I am working on a baby blanket and I wanna show it to you real quick. Um, this one is supposed to only take me three hours, but we'll see. This is as, as much as I got done. Um, this is in my go blanket let's see we're not finished this is just one and so not done but of course you know I have my project in my go bag I also have yarn not only do I have my yarn in my go bag I have other things too that is necessary y'all you know we need stuff all right let me start here of course you know I have my hooks but I got lotion, honey. I got this O'Keefe's Working Hands Hand Cream because your hands can get right dry when you're working on a project. Sometimes you just lotion it up. Don't don't let them get dry, y'all. Try not to. <laughs> anyway, lotion if you can. This is hand cream. This is what I have. But usually I have. Sometimes I make my own lotion, but I have this working cream. So we'll see how it's been so far. So good. And also I have what is necessary. I don't know if people have them or not, but I do. This right here is my little nail kit. I have an emery board, some scissors and all this. This has nothing to do with the yarn, but it has everything to do with going on with my fingers. Cause sometimes, you know, you could be working on a project not realizing and your yarn might snag on your finger and you might have a little a zhuzh on your finger. So you gotta use the emery board, get that, straighten that out. Just smooth it out so you won't be snagging your yarn, okay? And here's, my little pouch that is necessary because this has all the good good like my my uh, crochet hook gotta have that oh yes another thing that's important you may not have these but i'll do this is a little tiny uh little post-its here all sizes never know when i need to use a post-it for whether i'm using a pattern or i might want to write something down get an idea and i write it down and you can use these little post-its for whatever you know stick them wherever mm. Okay, and let's see what else I got. Of course, y'all know measuring tape because I ain't about counting rows. I don't want to. Uh, it's Sometimes I count rows, but I do not always. So with that being said, definitely got to have measuring tape in my go bag. All right. Another thing that I have in my go bag. I got two. I don't know why I have two. Here's another one, but I'm going to put this one in another project bag. So I'm going to leave that out. And I also have more hooks I got them because I got other projects I'm working on that I'm using these little extra hooks for but that's not all I have I also have a band-aid gotta have a band-aid because you never know you could hurt your finger you don't know it could happen or a nail could like break or it might crack or something on the side and you don't have time to fix it or whatever so put a band-aid on it get that covered up so you're not either hurting yourself or messing up your yarn snagging and all that um, also what I have are yarn needles. I have like a little two setter here. Um, yarn needles, darning needles, whatever you want to call them. I have all kinds. I have uh, the plastic and I have the, the metal ones, which I prefer the metal ones, you guys. And I still have more. Another emery board, just in case. I'm just saying, gotta have them. Another thing I have in here is, oh, I love, oops, uh-oh. Here we go. When I do feel like counting rows, I got a row counter in here. <laughs> Gotta have it when I'm counting rows, depending on what I'm working on, it was when I use this. Um, also, let's see, not only do I have those, I also have stitch markers. I have, these are my favorite kind to use. Um, these are clovers. Um, I like them because they don't break like the other ones do that are like plastic. The clover ones, they work out pretty good. Also, I have, instead of scissors, I have this little kind of scissor thing. It's scissors, but it's a little, it's a little scissor thing, a snipper or whatever. But that's it, that's what I have in here. And I have more hooks. Let's see what else I got in here. That's it, y'all. My hooks, my stitch markers. Oh yes, I can't forget my tension 
holder thingy. I put it on my finger, but this is it. Let me see, can you see it? But it's a tension um, holder for my uh, yarn, so it helps me crochet faster. It does, these things are a game changer. If you do not have one, I'm just recommending that you get one, but it's a, uh, it's a ring, it's like a tension uh, situation. Come on production, there you go, you can see it. Yeah, so I just put on my finger, this is like a phoenix or whatever, and I wrap my yarn in, and, and it just pulls nice and easy. Man, it's a definitely a game changer. Get you one if you don't have one. So that's what I have at Roll Counter. Need it for certain projects I use. Um, also, tape measure, emery board, necessary for them nails. Band-Aid, just in case, you never know. And my post-its that I can write on if I get any ideas or whatever. It's right close, it's right in here. I just stick this little guy right down in there. And of course, I've got my scissors and my emery board again. I have more of those. Definitely, I keep this on the outside, but this is my hand cream again. And my crochet hook, the one I'm using right now for this project, okay? So that's all I have I wanted to share with you. This is my go bag. So, hey, what's in your go bag? <laughs> that's mine, you see what I got, honey? What you got? All right, listen, enjoy the rest of your day. Feel free to hit me up anytime. Hit like, hit share, hit subscribe, honey, and ring that bell so you know every time I am in these YouTube streets. All right, well, take it easy. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. God bless you, and may heaven smile upon you. Bye.